is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. I really do feel that as a gamer, I've I've matured a bit. I've I've figured out how to handle my anger. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> and I figured out how to basically handle difficult games. I, I've definitely grew, uh, matured a lot when it comes to gaming. I was Mr. Rage, right? I used to be the guy known for flipping out on games on the internet. And I just don't really do that much anymore because I think now I, I, I'm more resigned, I'm more mature. Unbelievable. You are a liar and you are a fucking bold faced dirty liar. Um shout out to that Anana Bunny who cheered us. People say you don't brush your teeth. Brush your teeth on stream and prove them wrong. What who the hell says I don't brush my teeth and why would they say that? Uh the new phase of creation says I don't wash my hands. That's disgusting. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, oh. No, that's disgusting. That is d really nasty. Oh, man. Come on. Some disgusting individual who- What? What is going on? People say the weirdest shit. Is this like another meme? Phil doesn't brush his teeth. Actually, in reality, not only do I brush my teeth, but I use mouthwash every day, too. What? 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I actually pretty am pretty clean, you know, in the oral department. I know you're lying. Silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just gonna say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. I, uh, try to keep my teeth good. Because it sucks, because I actually, I have bad teeth. Like, in my family, we have, his, like, bad teeth. It's just a problem. My mom had lots of teeth problems and had to get tons of, like, dental shit done over the years. So, in general, I try to brush and mouthwash and everything. So, I don't even know what's going on. I'm reading the stream chat. There's some random stuff. I don't know what's happening. Jake Kramer cheered. He says, do you think you'll be playing video games and eating cheers and tips when you're 50? What about retiring? Uh, dude, Jake Kramer, on what planet do you live? Do you really think that... Someone who barely can pay his bills right now has any plans to retire. The bottom line, guys, is I hope that I can continue to be here and entertain you and be honest with you about games on a daily basis, you know, forever. As long as I want to do it. As long as I'm capable of doing it. I love this. I love begging. In one way or another, I'll probably be working until I'm dead. And I've, I've kind of accepted that, that, that reality. I'm not like a normal person who's working a career, who's building up retirement fund money, and one day I could sit back in a lawn chair sipping a Mai Tai and live out my golden years in peace. It's never going to happen. Um, you know, my life, sadly, has taken a turn where 
Uh, I, I don't even know if I'd be able to get a job in what's considered the private sector because of the amount of crazy slander and defamation about me on the internet. Why in, on, on this planet do we have to always play the blame game? You know, most employers have background checks. The first thing they'll do is search my name and find a bunch of videos saying horrendous things about me that aren't true. Um, and probably wouldn't touch me with a 10-foot pole. Um, and so, more than likely, I'm just going to have to keep doing what I'm doing for as long as I can do it and make ends meet and go from there. You know, and, you know, yeah, if I'm 50, 60 years old and I still have to play video games for a living, <laughs> maybe I could, maybe the formula will change. I mean, just take a look. In the 10 years I've done this, right, it's gone from just sitting by myself with a camera pointed at a TV crooked doing commentary to direct capture, high quality video, high quality audio, live streaming, interaction, webcam. It's a completely different thing today than what I did just 10 years ago. In another 10 years, it could be completely different again. It really could be. You know what I mean? So I just kind of shrug. I'm like, you know, it is what it is. That's my, that's my reality, you know? Uh, McDonald's. So, you know, I'm just going to keep doing what I love. As long as I can do it and then worry about the rest when I get to it, right? McDonald's has now accepted my job application. Jay Kramer cheered. He says, I live on Earth. That's why I'm asking. Are you thinking about that? Because I put away money for retirement. That's why I asked. Jay Kramer, at one point, I was putting money away for retirement. You know, when I had my office job, okay, I was putting away money for retirement. And actually, the first two to three years that I was doing this for a living, I was putting away money for retirement. Then I moved out here to the West Coast and, you know, it got expensive, which is fine. But I still had money for retirement. But then, guess what happened? Gee, let's see. Uh, let me let me count the amount of uh, fucked up stuff that happened to me, you know? And we can go through it. Uh, but I don't really want to. But you guys know the story of all the terrible things people did to me. I'm more about looking forward than looking back. You're living in the past. You need to move on. You guys may be living in the future. I'm in the past, baby. <laughs> you know, the defamation on YouTube that I had no recourse from. Uh, the false copyright strikes like there, there's basically three four key things that happened that made my viewers again I used to have 10 million views a month on YouTube now I get between one and two So just think about that if I had five times the amount of income on YouTube now that I have Yeah, then probably I'd be putting money away for retirement But what ended up happening was I came out here, you know making one amount of money and within two years I made half of that and within three years. I made about a third of that and you know now I'm living on a balance between the remnants of what I can make from YouTube and my new income from Twitch, which is great, I'm not complaining, but I'm in such a bad situation because for two, three years, I wasn't making enough money to support what I was doing and I was charging everything and I was taking out loans and I spent all my retirement money, you know, to pay the bills. And now at least I'm in a situation where, you know, at least it's under control, but it just sucks the situation I'm in, you know, again. You're at, basically what you're asking me about this stuff is incredibly personal like I'm gonna open my fucking balance book and show you my spreadsheets of my my finances and I'm not gonna do that no I don't have any money for retirement and right now I have I can't do it I can, I don't even have enough money to pay my taxes how am I gonna save money for retirement okay where's the evidence present evidence of what you're saying there's no way you could just lie 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 and never have a fact behind it and expect this story to hold. When in reality, I knew eventually it was going to blow up anyway. Because again, there was no factual evidence. It was a complete fabricated lie. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This on? guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.